Hello. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. There he is. You look like you're on the front lines. <laughs> so tell me, at the get-go, you went down there. I did. I went down there. I went up to Prince, uh, yeah, to... Uh, to the first camp or the second camp? To the first camp. So I was up at what's called Cloud Camp. So okay. that's at the top of the ridge. And um, so was there on um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And uh, uh, we moved camps to uh, the, the second camp on the Sunday. Oh. And, uh, and so we had a break camp and then set up a new camp. So there is a secondary camp. Basically, we were defending the East Ridge or the Westerly Ridge, them coming in um, from, from the West. Uh, and, uh, and so then we had to actually block off their ability to come in from the East. Um, yeah. And so, and so the new camp. What's what's the difference? Is it easier to get to? Can a oh, normal can a normal car get there? A normal car can get there. Okay. Yeah, good. and it's very pleasant. It's not as um, it's not as uh, difficult, if you will, um, no, with the uh, logging roads, and uh, you know, and just impossible. Um, just very very steep and quite treacherous. <laughs> especially when you have a logging road that's staring down at you as you're trying to get up the hill and, and loggers who aren't that particularly glad you know, that you're on there <laughs> well a really gruff logger came to one of the people um because they were on the logging road and and had in a sense gotten in his way and he said what the fuck are you doing on an active logging road and he's like I'm trying to get up to the blockade, actually. And he goes, well, I'm not saying I disagree with you. And then gave some instruction on how to get through safely and then let, and then let him on his way. Wow. And we, we had something, I think, that was similar where a logging truck had to turn around. They, they were using this area as a turnaround where we have the second camp the guy was smiling through the whole thing yeah smiling and not yeah i'm going to create a new shirt it says pro logger pro old growth safe fairy creek in the back okay yeah so what else did you learn down there like what what should people bring that they're coming with yeah, what they really should be bringing is, you know, self-sufficiency. Food so far has been abundant and they are looking for people to, you know, use the food that they have. Mm. We, we do need things like, uh, you know, CBs. We do need satellite phones. We do like the more tech, the more tech, the more communication that we can have, the better. Uh, is, is there uh, I guess the internet doesn't go there there's no data or I uh, in cloud camp if you walk down the ways a bit you can uh, some some people are able to pick up text pick up text but no online streaming or anything like that no not in camp two either no has anyone no. looked into that like as a possibility I uh, no what I am looking forward to is seeing uh, doing tests on cell boosters and if cell boosters have enough power there to actually boost it up, amp it up. Mm. Yeah. So is it, where do you get these things or what are they? Cell boosters, uh, you can get, I think, at, pl at places like Best Buy. And uh, what they are is that they just boost your, your cell. You actually place it on the cell booster and then there's an antenna. Uh, and so it seems to be able to boost the power of it. Mm. Yeah. Cause, cause I noticed there wasn't a lot of videos coming out. There was a couple, but like there wasn't like everyone who was there making videos kind of thing. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, really it's the first week of it and you have people who are just scrambling around trying to build, build out houses and things like that. Right. 
we definitely had um, a wild day on the Sunday because we had to strike camp, build camp, decide that we were going to stay there, uh, and then wake up at four in the morning to greet loggers as they came in. Wow. So, wow. So right on the front line. So what happened? How many, how many people were there? Uh, we probably had about 12 people um, Just at 12. the second camp. Just yeah. 12. That's not a lot. When you're, no. When you're dealing with <laughs> some very large, perhaps angry loggers or whoever else comes in, you need at least 20 or 30 to really, I think. You know, to feel buffeted, to, to feel yeah. in a, yeah, exactly. No, yeah, because I was, yeah, 12 is, uh, 12 seems sparse. Seems a lot in some situations, but can feel sparse in others. <laughs> was definitely thinking of you and your your time um on the sunshine coast you know? yeah definitely uh yeah living in the woods is very different and if the farther away you are from town and the, the less supplies you have but it can be i think one of the best experiences of your life you know fundamentally it's it's a it's a beautiful thing to live in the forest well we need people to know that if you ever want to live in ferngully or live in you know lord of the rings type of environment this is it mm. this is literally second camp is you know in old growth it's like it's actually very akin to, to something like the um uh goldstream you know, huge trees, a, a river, um, you know, a gorgeous creek there. And mm. so it, that is all present and available to you. So and this, how close to the road? Is the road just uh, close? Yeah, it's probably, I, I think it's at seven kilometers in. And so, so how far from Victoria? Well, it's, um, let's see. It's probably about two hours, two, like, probably two and a half hours. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty close. Yes. Yeah, it is. And if you're coming in from Duncan, I mean, it's just, it's super close, obviously. How Like it's, it's on the way, I guess is. Yeah. Well, it's Fairy Creek. Do you know Fairy Creek? Do you know Lizard Lake? Okay. Um, yeah. So it's basically it's Prince Rupert. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how are you doing in general? What was your uh, takeaway? Are you going back soon or uh, I'm definitely wait, going wait for me? Back. Or? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm really wanting you to be there too. Uh, you know, it's, um, this is go time, right? For sure. When it comes to all of this. Mm. Uh, so no, no injunctions yet? Not, no, uh, no, they've been quiet. Um, feel, That's true. Jones has been quiet. Yeah. And I'm wondering if they basically want to get as much lo logging in as possible before A, the fire ban, and B, before the government releases the old growth management report, which is all these suggestions from people within the industry. And um, word on the street is, is that they are not going to like what's in, in the report or, mm -hmm. you know, for certain, the government has had the report for four months, mm. has not released it. The government's official position is they do not and will not let a reduction in timber production um, happen at any cost. That's ridiculous. You know? that's, that's ridiculous. Especially when the, the entire Chamber of Commerce of British Columbia and all the mayors mm have all written mm. and said, you know, that uh, it is worth more for our people to have these trees standing mm. than if they were felled. Mm. For and sure. So that, yeah. And so, and, and what we want is working for us to work, to be working, work those second growths, make all that happen. And, bring uh, the mills back, uh, you know, and so that we can actually um, see refined products that actually people respect coming out of BC. You know, we're not saying stop everything. Mm. You know, we're not saying let's return back to the Garden of Eden, but we are saying that this literally is the last untouched valley um, in the entire uh, island. Really? Yeah. Holy shoot. 
Well, that's uh, that should be a meme. <laughs> that's, exactly. That's, that sounds like we need to have a full a full campaign. You know, uh, I think we may be getting Veen back on the road. Uh, Ryan said maybe back up in about a week. And um, the thing I've been working on, again, is, is kind of close. Anyway, we need full media support, like massive media support. Yeah. How are the, how are the people there? What's the age of the people down there? Really diverse. We have from people in their twenties to people who are in their sixties. Oh, wow. Yeah, we had some. Yeah, we we have um, uh, people from older campaigns as well, like like the like the Klaikwat Sound and mm. and things like that. So mm. it's really it's good um yeah so how many people down like are staying there and how many like how many are sort of like committed until it like at least for a month or so and uh, uh you see we have a lot of weekenders we have a lot of people that are coming in and out and i'm one of those people where i okay. i work full-time on the phone so right. that's my world um but because I work on the phone and work from my home office, I can be uh, much more involved in that way. So we need two types of support. We need people here and we need people there. But we, <laughs> we need uh, recruitment. Recruitment is definitely what yeah. is, we're, we're asking people to come out to consider whatever vacation plans that they had in August to shift it to vacationing in an old growth forest wonderland while also protecting it. So it's not a hard sell. No, no, that's beautiful. Uh, I think the Vancouver tribal com community needs to kind of get on this. Uh, they seem to be able to mobilize large, large groups of people for uh, festivals and there's no festivals. So why can't they do something? You know, if we're the ones we're waiting for. Why don't we do it? If we're the rainbow, gathering people like where the heck are they <laughs> like and that's right and i think that there's a that is a perfect framing for it that we need to move forward with is you know this is the festival that everyone was hoping would happen mm. you know because it's a festival with purpose and um yeah and there's room there is room to enjoy yourself it's there, not like yeah it's not like we're in you know vietnam and the trenches here we are yes you know there is there is danger of i mean the biggest danger is that they actually find another way you know to carry on what they're doing but people have to know that they are in at this point they are safe until an injunction was put out and then you push that injunction there is no danger legally to people they don't have to worry about that they just have to come out show their support and be and be a part of things what about that new bill that came out bill one or something that said that they can uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine and all this crazy stuff that came out. yeah you know, I haven't heard any mention of it here, and I would love to. I just read actually a handbook which is on the Rainforest Flying Squad uh, Facebook page, mm. uh, and it is a legal handbook that was written by U of X students from the legal department on mm. activism. And uh, there was, of course, this was written before that was passed. <laughs> Yeah, so I am thoroughly up to date with two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and since then, the world has gone completely insane. Yes, exactly. Yes. There aren't people with masks are up there, are there? Well, what has happened is, is that there is, um, when the blockade happens itself, then masking uh, is encouraged. Yeah. That's just a good idea, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, exactly. It's like, hey, I didn't want to be, uh, you know, recognizable. Oh, look, mm. I can wear a mask. <laughs> um, it was the only time that I really felt like, yeah, I'm going to wear a mask. Um, <laughs> so what about in two, in two, I have to do something this weekend, and then I was aiming at going up the weekend after. And then the, uh, looking at making something bigger happen the weekend after that, like the September 6th and 7th weekend? 
Mm. Like aim at that as being like, we make some noise. Mm. And the weekend before as we sort of get ready for the noise. And mm. then, then we need to, uh, we need to get the whole world, whole world's attention, right? Yes, we do. We, we need to get the pressure. We need to get all, everybody. This should be a new Clayquit sound and just turn it into, uh, you know, because all this stuff about the COVID and all this stuff that's coming out about how freaking, you know, it's just a scam. Like, talk about ruining countries, like ruining the middle class or the small business person, like the amount of restaurants that have gone out of business, the amount of uh, small businesses that are out of business. Like, it's it's... Well, Suicide has gone up. Is it three hundred percent? There was a, a massive amount, in, and um, you know, everywhere. But but you know, in California, I was looking at those numbers just just yesterday. It is. Um, it is. And again, the alternatives are muted, are muzzled. You mm -hmm. don't have um, you know any voices saying, "Calm down." we can in for the majority of people there's no need to fear especially because we have these supports mm. we have all these things that we can do these procedures these supplements all of that is muzzled and, and muzzled with such a militant force mm. that i think it would take a blind person to see that that the narrative is not being so so designed yeah you mean a deaf person? Yes, yes, basically, right? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, so it looks like uh, we've got a campaign. You've done the initial scouting. Uh, just what we were talking about, right? Old Growth Forest Defense and bingo. Bingo. It's, it's there. The, 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 uh, the field is, is listening or we're listening to the field. And now we're going to put all our attention, full focus, Plantair Guardians on this one campaign on this one campaign exactly yeah. because it's doable people are already showing that they want to be a part of this even if they they don't want to be a part of it di directly yeah 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 and i think it when it comes from the people outside of like a lot of let's say sectors or people who are supposed to be doing it or whatever it's just like the will of the people has come forth and yeah that's, that's that's a very strong uh foundational anchor point you know to to build around yes oh absolutely and i think we're um we have a lot of work to do to to stabilize the network and to and because um really the wild thing about this is that it's not a specific group this is not, you know, this is an ancient forest alliance. This is in Friends of Clay Quad Sound. This isn't mm -hmm. any of that. This is a brand new, just, hey, you're concerned, you're concerned, you're concerned. Okay, well, let's all get together and do this thing. Okay, yeah. they're about to, you know, and so timely. They're about to, to crest that ridge. Okay, right. well, we have to get up there now. And, uh, and so it's been a real scramble, but it has a media coverage has been amazing. Mm. B you have a lot of people who are, are wanting to do something, at least give money. Um, and C it is, it's a confined enough goal. The group has three mandates. They want the release of the old growth report quickly. They want, a uh, a protection a moratorium on logging within the fairy creek valley and they want um a cessation a stopping of old growth logging on vancouver island nice. now not you know that final one is a large it's a large thing i mean and it is obvious 90 percent of bc in a survey said they want that um, you I think know, it but, should be all yeah. of BC. I think, I think in terms of uh, ecotourism and in terms of every, every side of the argument, you know, speaks towards, you know, preserving what is left as, you know, it's so valuable. So I don't think it's a big thing, actually. I think it, it, it is what has to happen. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's in steps, I think, uh, though, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, 
sometimes I feel confident. I'm like, let's stay out there until we get every tree saved. And then I'm like, oh, geez, you know, I, I really like to uh, at least keep the messaging focused to Fairy Creek for a moment. Yeah. No, I think that's smart. I mean, aim at what you can attain uh, specifically and then see what happens as a result of that. But definitely aim at, at protecting that one place. Um, and it's because it's the last and because yeah. it's so close to Victoria. And for yeah. all those reasons that people are selfishly uh, w would buy into it. Yeah. So this is uh, the inside scoop with Yogi Shambu and Captain Sweep. We have switched from 5G to the old growth forest protection campaign. And if you would like to join us and perhaps come on the show and uh, give any input or uh, participate at a stronger degree with Planetary Guardians, uh, you can ask us. We're going to start to set up some media systems to assist in this campaign. And uh, Yogi, do you have anything you want to end with right now? Just, it's clear that we have to cut out the logging in the uh, Fairy Creek. So please do join us, do what uh, you know will feed your soul and that's give a bit of time and energy into this campaign. It's winnable, but it's only winnable with people like you. Yeah, thank you Yogi Shambu and thank you especially to the people who, uh, do we have the names of the people who started it and saw the need and did the initial uh, organizing? Because those people are, are big time heroes in my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Not not as of now, actually. We'll talk to everyone and see the amount that they want exposure and all that. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I think I'm in contact with one, but yeah, we've got to check on those sorts of things. Okay, so goodbye, everyone. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.